Hey guys, what's up? We're back with another ROMPL game, this time against Paxi G, who's a really good player in advance, but not super well known for Black White. Um, so I just figured I'd um, run with the team I was kind of just liked with Triple Psychic. Um, BKC said I should use something with like Psychic Spam just to kind of catch him off guard. Unfortunately, I ran into a couple really problematic Pokemon here. Um, Heldeo plus Tar can be annoying to this team. In addition to that, um, Jirachi is just the worst Pokemon to face with this. Thankfully, he has no spinner, though, so I can sort of take advantage of Jirachi if it's not a fire move, but if it's like a mixed for attack Jirachi, I can be screwed here. So, I knew it's an uphill match right off the bat, so I'm going to have to play really well, especially against a good opponent like Passy. So, i got to be careful here. Um, Sealer's Caldeo, I'm like, oh, damn, i got to get this out of the way. I go to Nicholas on the Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword, rather, and it's just 20 months of fighting gems. It looks like it's an older team, which makes sense, because Jirachi isn't really seeing a ton on sand anyway. He goes calm mind as I focus blast. I guess he knew I wasn't um, I wasn't going to be psychic move slash psy shock, or maybe he wanted to go for the trade here. I don't know. Um, I'm focus blast plus hidden power ice style. So I focus blast to predicting a Tyranitar or Jirachi to come in just get some chip on it. But he stayed in and calm mind. So I'm like, oh shit, this ain't good. Um, so what I do here is I go Latios here, knowing like I still nuke the fuck out of it, and I live two Dracos. And he goes Tar, which is smart, and I simply Draco into it for. 49% and then I Draco again and I crit, which is really, really, really bad for Passy G. Now getting the damage out right would have been great because I am hidden power viral because I am so that plus grass not to kill a weakened tar. Um pretty much leaves this whole team weak to it. But the fact that I got that kill was super bad for Passy, and I'm really sorry about that. Um because just getting nothing out of tar against a triple psyche team is absolutely dire. He still has Drachi and a chance to win for sure, but that's just like the most unfortunate possible turn for him, so after getting mad unlucky in the prior weeks, I got a huge stroke of luck here. I go Landers Tinong, I live on Hidden Bar Ice, I'm a bulkier variant here, or Icy Wind. And um, he just body slams, it reveals he's a physical variant. He gets paralysis here, as I just Earthquake to break this up, I'm like, okay, bet. I want to keep this healthy to keep this in check, because this is actually an even harder set for me to deal with, because it hard walls your Nicholas, and it also might have bulked to live Hidden Bar Fire from Alexam easily. See, that's annoying, but I am, um, now I just go Rocks, I think, but I paralyze. But yeah, that's more than deserved after the crit on Tyranitar. And he goes rocks as I predict that and just go ahead and bar ice to get some chip on it. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's great. Figured um, this is probably the rocker on the team with maybe, um, actually, no, at this point I was thinking of rocks tar because it was some Jirachi, but yeah, it turned out that was rocks. It was probably Scarf Chomp or Scarf Latios. He goes to um, Keldu here and he gets a crit with Hydro. I mean, that um, that sucked, but it could, I can't really complain. Now he goes Sacred Sword. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So now I am um, here. I try and calm mind alongside it, but he actually Hydros, which. It took kills that hits twice, even with like minerals on both. It was like 99.9%. .9%. I mean, you see, I'm like 28 here. So even if he did like 51, which is min, then I'd still be in the mid 30s. So yeah, there's no way. I go Alexam here, and he goes Landers T as I just um, do I psychic or hidden power fire? Or am I hidden power fire to take it out? So that reveals I have it, unfortunately, as he goes that. But now he goes Drachi anyway, which is a smart play by him. Now I go Landers T here, knowing I'm at full health and I'm going to intimidate it, which is great for me. I figure he's going to buy some D-Doubles to Latios, which is a really smart play by him. So now I'm on the back foot, and I'm taking damage on this Landers T unnecessarily, which sucks. I double the tire here as he simply goes for the Draco, and he misses, which sucks a ton for him. I'm a bulky variant, though, but that does 66. So I'm like, okay, that's like either modest Latios or absolute max damage from Timid. But either way, getting the pursuit off is huge. Admittedly, I don't think this miss mattered as much as my crit before because... um. Well, I could have, I didn't really need Tar here. I just needed to get something to, to make Latios go to minus four and bring in my either Landris or Alakazam and pose a major threat. But the pursuit damage is huge, still, nevertheless. Because um, after Sand and Rock, he's not going to be able to switch in again. So that really sucks for him. He goes Keldia here, though, as I um, I doubled the Ferrothorn, trying to preserve it. And in hindsight, that was actually a really smart play by him as well. So I feel like I'm going to outplay it here quite a bit. Um, now I just fought off the Tar, and I go Alakazam here, and he fights off Latios. So. It kind of invalidated that whole sequential progress he made there, but still, he's um he's playing this game really well. He goes guard jump here. I'm like, okay, it's probably Scarf. But I psychic it, um, just knowing that if he's probably not going to lock into dual jump with Farathorn and Landorus here. I figured he might double switch to Keldeo, for example, as he did that before. But also, losing this isn't a huge deal at this point, as um, I still have my Latios live. Um, in all honesty, though, I just didn't think he'd go dual chop, but that worked out as he went for Fire Fang as I psychic into it, and he burns me, and no big deal, doesn't matter. Of course, I'm a special attacker, so yeah, and I don't take point burn damage. Now I psychic here into the Jirachi. I'm like, okay, let me think this through here. And I think ultimately I just go ahead and power fire just to weaken it. And he goes for body something to take me out, which is a really smart play on his end. 
So now I um I go Landers T like okay this isn't quite in surf range yet. Unfortunately I didn't sub there. He goes guard jump and I believe I hit Greater Power and Earthquake to kill it. Yep, that's good for me. Now he goes Keldeo, of course. I go to um, Ferrothorn knowing okay it's basically fodder. He predicts that in Circuit Surge, which is smart. Honestly, Hydro is probably a bit safer from him there, but no big difference here. Um, so now I can just go Draco, and thankfully Draco also puts Jirachi below sub range, which is cool, so I can just spam Draco into it before I die. Um, he perhaps predicted the Landers T-Switch, but um, yeah, it worked out my way here. I do 15% here, and that leaves him at 18%. So now even if the leftovers is not in sub range, I can just spam Draco anyway. Actually, now I go Landers T knowing, okay, um, it doesn't make a big difference. He goes Body Slam, and it only does 11%. See, I'm at 60. I'm at 70%, and he's at minus one, so he's got to, like, flinch a bunch of times when I get a full power here in the sub, and then still flinch a lot of times. Yeah, he doesn't even get full power there, and then I believe he doesn't flinch, like, on the, one of the first tries. But there's no amount of leftovers I could help him. Oh, he actually crits, but he doesn't flinch a power, thank God. So I escaped this game with a ton of luck on my side. Um, sorry for that, honestly. Um, not much I could say besides this just wasn't my best game. I feel like this was, like, one of my worst games played. But some of the games that I lost due to some unfortunate luck or matchups and whatnot, I played pretty well. So I guess it kind of evens out over time. But yeah, really sorry to Patsy G. You are better in this game. Uh, good game, dude.